Have you ever found yourself captivated by the complex maze of ancient Roman commerce? Have you reflected on how a civilization as old as two millennia could maintain a massive empire across three continents? The key to this marvel lies in the humble beginnings of their local commerce. Initially, the Romans were primarily farmers and shepherds. And shepherds, they bartered their surplus produce like grain and olives and livestock, including sheep and cattle with neighboring tribes. This was the inception of their trading system. The rise of Rome led to a significant evolution in its trading techniques. As the population and geographical boundaries of Rome expanded, so did its trade. Rome began importing commodities from diverse regions of Italy, specifically from the mineral and metal-rich region of Etruria in the north. This move marked the beginning of a more complex trading system. Metalwork, pottery and fine wines were imported, while the surplus agricultural produce was traded was traded off. These commodities were not mere trinkets, they were the cornerstone of Rome's burgeoning economy, dramatically improving the living standards and providing the Roman populace with an array of goods. The scope and influence of Roman trade were not confined within domestic borders. Rome successfully built sturdy trade networks via both land and sea routes, thus creating a sophisticated supply and demand system that reached far and wide across their vast empire. They embarked on trade expeditions with distant countries such as India and China, importing exotic merchandise like silk and spices, while exporting common commodities like glassware, wine and pottery. To bolster and sustain this expansive trading system, the Romans strategically built a network of roads that not only facilitated military operations, but also enabled efficient transport of goods across their empire. Additionally, they established a formidable maritime fleet that was instrumental in setting up sea trade routes across the Mediterranean, thereby boosting their economic influence. The Romans revolutionized their trading system through the introduction of coins as a trading currency, making commerce more convenient and widespread. This innovative step led to the birth of financial institutions. The establishment of laws and regulations regulated the trading process, ensuring fairness and encouraging traders' confidence. The creation of marketplaces or macella not only facilitated trading but also acted as societal hubs where Romans could exchange goods, news and gossip. The multidimensional trade system of ancient Rome was deeply ingrained within the societal fabric, playing a pivotal role in preserving and enhancing the empire's wealth and strength. Trade was not just a survival mechanism, but an integral part of Roman life, reflecting their innovative spirit and astute understanding of economics. This elaborate trade infrastructure was a multifaceted institution, serving economic, social and cultural roles. It laid the groundwork for Rome's growth into a dominant power, a testimony to their masterful handling. As Rome's military power escalated, it paved the path for its economic sphere to expand considerably. The Romans, in their pursuit of dominance, conquered vast territories around the Mediterranean, establishing new trade routes and markets. These conquests transformed Rome into the hub of a trading network that spanned three continents, an unprecedented achievement. With the Mediterranean under their control, they facilitated the exchange of goods from the known world, bringing economic prosperity and enabling Roman culture to influence diverse regions. These new commerce channels allowed Rome to import a variety of goods with ease. They had a particular taste for exotic items from distant areas, bringing in silk, a symbol of wealth and luxury from China. From the vibrant markets of India, they imported an array of spices, and from the wild heartlands of Africa, they procured ivory, a material cherished for its beauty and rarity. Trade was not just about goods, but also the transmission of ideas, as the Romans encountered new cultures and assimilated foreign knowledge. The trade network was not just an economic instrument, but a conduit for cultural exchange, turning ancient Rome into a melting pot of diverse cultures and a beacon of civilization. Rome's trade escalated to its zenith during the era of Pax Romana, a remarkable period of relative peace and tranquility that spanned for over two centuries. As a result, Rome metamorphosed into a vibrant hub of commerce and trade, its streets teeming with a variety of shops and marketplaces. These bustling markets offered an array of goods, from staples such as food and clothing to more exquisite items like jewelry and perfumes. They had everything one could ask for, from staples grown in the fertile fields of Egypt 
to the exotic spices from the far reaches of the empire in India, finely crafted jewelry from the artisans of Gaul. Rome's strategic position in the Mediterranean also made it a crucial link in trade routes connecting the east and the west. Ships packed with goods would dock at the ports, ready to unload their cargo and take on new items to transport across the seas. Through the lifeblood of trade, Rome was not only able to sustain its huge population, but also amass great wealth and influence. During this period, Rome truly became the epicenter of an empire. The Roman Empire, once a thriving civilization, developed innovative techniques to manage their commerce, including the ingenious use of coins as a uniform currency which standardized economic transactions across the empire. They revolutionized comprehensive trade laws and regulations, setting the foundation for modern economic systems. The empire constructed an expansive network of roads, reaching the farthest corners of its territory and strategically placed harbors acting as crucial trade arteries for the smooth transit of a broad of a broad range of goods. These goods included grain from Egypt, wild animals from Africa, silk from China, and spices from the East, unveiling the extent of Roman trade. The empire's trading activities also resulted in cultural exchange as artisans from around the globe migrated to Rome, integrating their creativity with Roman, thus enhancing the empire's cultural richness. However, the Roman Empire's commerce faced significant challenges. Piracy threatened the maritime trade, and the vast geographical expanse of the empire made it susceptible to conflicts. Yet the Romans showed resilience and inventiveness when tackling these challenges, ensuring their commerce remained efficient. Despite the hurdles, the empire's trade continued to be a primary factor in its growth and prosperity, leaving a lasting influence on the course of history. As the Roman Empire began to crumble, the intricate web of trade that once flourished followed suit. The once prosperous system of commerce that was a lifeline for many Roman citizens began to wither away, casting a deep shadow over the empire. It's crucial to delve deeper into the complexities of trade in ancient Rome to understand its contribution to the economic foundations of the modern world. Trade in ancient Rome originated as a localized barter system, born out of the necessity of exchanging goods and services within small communities. With time, it evolved a refined structure spanning across three continents, becoming an ever-changing organism that responded to the societal needs. The vast trade networks of ancient Rome expanded across Africa, Asia and Europe, connecting various territories through sea and land routes. Ships from as far as India found their way to Roman ports, while caravans brought exotic goods from the east. Despite the decline of the Roman Empire, the impact of its elaborate network network of commerce continues to influence today's trading practices. The spirit of Roman trade is echoed in the interconnected markets we see today. The legacy left by Rome reminds us of the power of trade in shaping societies, driving economies and connecting continents. In conclusion, ancient Rome's trade system played a significant role in their society and contributes to modern economies. In conclusion, we explored the intriguing dynamics of commerce in ancient Rome, tracing its trajectory from simple localized exchange to its pinnacle during the Pax Romana. We analyzed the variety of goods involved in these exchanges, from daily necessities such as grain and wine, to luxury items like silk and spices, transported via sophisticated networks of sea routes and roads, their advanced trade techniques included the use of banking and contracts, as well as a comprehensive system of measures. The Romans, however, faced numerous challenges. These included fluctuating supply and demand, transportation issues, piracy and taxation. Nevertheless, they managed to navigate these obstacles, reflecting their resilience and ingenuity. Their influence reaches beyond their time, significantly influencing the development of the modern global economy. The Roman currency system was used extensively throughout Europe until the Middle Ages. They also pioneered trade relations with remote regions, including China and India. In essence, our contemporary networked commercial world owes much to the groundwork laid by the ancient Romans. Their innovative practices have left a lasting impression on the course of trade history. We hope you enjoyed this journey through the trade routes of ancient Rome. It's fascinating to see how the past informs our present and how the innovations of our ancestors continue to shape our world today. If you found this video informative and engaging, please give it a like. Your support helps us create more content like this. And if you have any thoughts or questions about Roman trade, 
or if there's another historical topic you'd like us to explore, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more historical journeys. We delve into a wide range of topics illuminating the past and its impact on our present. Thank you for watching and for joining us on this exploration of history. We look forward to taking you on another journey in our next video. Until then, keep exploring and keep learning.